Hey guys, so today's question, how do I start my photography business? I've got no experience, I have no portfolio, and uh, I don't know how to start it. I don't know how to get clients. I'm not even sure how to begin. So uh, today we're gonna discuss those things and I'm gonna teach you how I think you should go about it, okay? Click, 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 click and a picket. Click, 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 click and a picket. Click, 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 click and a picket. Click, click, click. click. Okay, so the catch-22 is this. How do you get experience when you have no clients, where you have no way to get jobs? People are like, well, what do you have to show me? And you essentially have nothing to show them. So how do you get that experience? People want experience, but yet you have none. So how do you give yourself experience and fast-track your own progress? Today I'm going to teach you how to do that. And you're not gonna to wanna to hear it, <laughs> but when you think about it, it'll make perfect sense. And so what you're gonna to have to do for the first full year is you're gonna to have to work for free. Yes, you're gonna to have to work for free. And Vern, why would I do that? Why would I work for free? I'll tell you why. So you're gonna work for free because you need experience. You need people to trust you. You need people to see your body of work. You need people to believe in you. And the only way they can do that is they have to have some kind of a value from you. Now, if you start telling people, hey, I'm doing photography photo shoots, I'm doing uh, some wedding shoots, and I'm not charging people anything, and I'm doing this for the first year to build up my own name and to build up my own business, would you be interested? How many people are gonna turn you down? Probably that many. People are gonna be like, yeah, heck yeah. When can we meet? When can I come by? People love free. You know, and here's the thing, if you give people something for nothing and they're happy with that, are they gonna sell you? Yeah, they're gonna start to say, hey, cousin, this guy just did these photos, check them out, what do you think? They're awesome, right? Well, maybe you need some photos, give them a shout. So, the thing is, is you can wait for your business to painfully grow, maybe in three to five years if you're patient and you just happen to meet the right connections to have things go, but you're probably gonna work for free. You're probably gonna undersell your work and you're gonna think, well, I have nothing to offer so I probably need to work for free, right? That's gonna be your mindset. Your mindset's gonna be, I have nothing so uh, I can't charge anything. And you're gonna be discouraged, you're gonna be uh, having a hard time and that's gonna affect your mentality, your joy, your growth. And so, Give a thought to what I'm saying, okay? So here's the plan. You start out, you tell everybody, hey, I'm willing to do this. Um, maybe you, you meet a local makeup artist or you try to find out who's doing makeup in that area for the weddings, for the uh, photo shoots, for the model shoots. And you talk to that person and say, hey, I'm a new photographer. I need to get experience. I need a portfolio. Can I pay you to do some makeup? Um, I'm, I'm doing some free shoots. How do I buy into a shoot if somebody else is doing a shoot? You, you get into that community. You start focusing on connecting with these people. And over time, when you start giving out free work, all of a sudden your phone's going to start to ring off the hook and people are, hey, are you busy? Can you come shoot me? My cousin needs some photos. My girlfriend loves these photos that you took for me. Can you come over and shoot these photos? And that's kind of what happened to me. That's how I got into the fashion end of it. Um, I wanted to experience that and I started to pay a a local makeup artist and she got the clients okay and so that's kind of key and once you start to have a body of work you have a value and once you have a value you can charge and, and once you can charge it starts to snowball itself you see how that works now if you do what I say for about one year and you take that portfolio and you approach clients at that point you can measure your body of work in one year against other people's bodies of work that are charging a fair price and all of a sudden you can set yourself a higher value from the beginning than you would if you would have undervalued yourself three to five to ten times less in the beginning okay so it makes perfect sense and you're gonna have to give to get okay that's probably the biggest thing that you're gonna have to understand and even if you're gonna do the three to five year plan. You're gonna to have to give of something, right? You're gonna to have to pay a lot of money 
just to get advertising, you're going to have to wait a lot of time and that's going to cost you something. So in any event, you're going to have to pay something. So why not pay up front, fast track your own progress, push yourself into the market instead of being at the mercy of whatever's coming at you, okay? That's the best advice I got and I know it'll work. And what I want you guys to do that have listened to this um, in a year's time, come back and tell me how that's worked for you. Put something in the comments, okay? And if I've helped you, throw me a like. Uh, maybe consider subscribing and helping me while I help you on your journey. Thank you very much.